Be glorified, Father, in your heavens where you are. Because you are great. You are uniting the two sticks like you have promised. You are giving us wisdom that the world can't receive. You are saving us daily. You said, even if we will walk over water, we will walk over fire. Nothing will happen to us. I trust every word that came out from you. Be lifted up, Father. Even the heavens glorify you. Why should not me do that? Even wind, fire, earth, every element knows you. So, me too, I'll be humble in front of you, Father. Zwakimbo, be lifted up. Father, I believe in the true God. Tatanzambia Mazulu. All the love, all this meditation that will come to us. All this purification that we will absorb. All this energy that we will receive. All this blessing, all this healing. Father, you are everything to us. You have chosen us. Hallelujah. You have marked us with the star of Alva. From the four corners of this earth, we are bowing down. We are standing in front of your throne and you opened the door for us. In the name of Tatan Zambia Mazu, every single person will receive Kimbo. Hallelujah. Father, receive Kimbo. You took Isolele out of Egypt, Isolele out of Babylon. You helped them against the Greeks and Romans. In this moment now, people getting saved. The doors that was closed now, opening in the name of Tata Nzambi Yamazuno. Hallelujah. I've been asking Tata whether I should stay put. I keep feeling this pull to relocate. Texas, uh, Texas will have some problems in the coming year. Um, these are the places where Tatanzambi will start uh, a judgment, also because of the things with the election and all these things will will, will bring um, some chaos. Mm -hmm. By the way, we are going to the uh, 21th century, which means Tatanzambi will start to judge Babylon in the craziest ways. There is no escape in Babylon, but it will start. If it starts, it will also harm all the whole world. It will start harming the whole world, which means there will be no place that is the best. There will be no place where you can say it's safe. There will be no place where you can say, yeah, I'm, I'm secured, I'm fine here, and this is where I should be, and uh, we're going to hard times, to times where you should not be in the Titanic that sank. Maybe you should keep your woman or your man very, very warm because this is the time of repentance. This is the time of judgment where we are going to. Mm -hmm. That's why mm -hmm. people like the most I have given us something very strong, you know, doing the work what he wants, because um, we have to concentrate ourselves. You know, no money will save us. If people really believe in that, this will be the first people that will fall. So we have to be very, very concentrated to build up the kingdom of David again, which means in the name of the Tanzambi Mazulu, you can choose Wherever you want to go, it will be given to you. Hallelujah. I keep finding myself in a position where I don't, I'm not comfortable um, working in the same kinds of jobs and doing the same kinds of things I've done in the past. And so I'm just asking what he wants me to do as far as, um, you know, how to make a living while this system is still operating. And then zombies say, don't save your money uh, in your house, but save your money in his house. And which means give him praise and thanks and glory and build his house. Because in his house, you will have a house. This is it. Thank you. Since we did the whole thing with the water and the, the oil and the salt, everything. I mean, the first sip I took, Master, I, 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 almost, I almost passed out. I, I, I felt like something hit me. And since then, I, I haven't had the pain on them, you know, no, no pain and stuff from, from it. Hurt and, and beat really hard at night times, but since then, nothing. I've been sleeping good, much better. I'm here this morning to, to give my testimony for healing that I received from cancer on August 29th while in Tabernacle. The Most High 
blessed me. He healed me. I received the revelation. And my life has been most wonderfully blessed ever since. And I thank you, Mikhail and the elders, for taking your time to help the sisters and brothers out here in the diaspora. In Keita. Brother Mikhail, I know you're sleeping, that you won't get this until you wake up in the morning, but something is happening to me. I was praying tonight and I just started speaking in different languages and started shaking and it's like my body was just electrified and and I don't understand. I need guidance. This is, um, I can't describe it. I'll just call you in the morning um, when I wake up, if I can even sleep. I feel so full of energy, so full of power. I don't, and I don't, I don't understand. Um, and get them. Yes, brother, I can feel the Mwanda. It's trying to activate in me. It's like a lightning. But I keep having dreams about what the Most High has called me to do. Uh, the, a couple of weeks ago, I had a dream. Um, I was at a DMV in America. And at the DMV, I was preaching to my people. And then most of my people wasn't receiving it. But the, the white people were receiving it. And then uh, I called people up to receive healing. And the white people were the first ones to come to receive the healing. And after the white people were healed, then our people received this truth. Brother, the prayer group was awesome. Um, nothing like that. No, speaking in different languages, nothing like that has ever happened to me before. I was scared at first, but uh, I kept praying and, and, you know, the fear went away and uh, so much power. It was, I can, I cannot describe it. Thank you, brother, for the, for the prayer session. I, I'll be coming to many, many, I'll be coming to all of them if I can, if there's opening. That was amazing. Thank you, brother. Tata Zombie, here I come. Siemi, Siemi, Yaya, Mikhail. Um, a special montando for that empowering uh, session of the prayer tabernacle. And um, yeah, I lift you and everyone up in prayer for Thanksgiving. And um, yeah, I have a couple of testimonies. Um, one is prior to the prayer tabernacle. And I want to speak of that uh, because it was told to me that I do have the, uh, the gift of healing. So back in uh, November the 4th, um, I found out through speaking to my brother on November the, the 5th, that uh, he had a slight stroke and paralysis on his right hand, on his right side of his body. Um, now he's in his 70s and uh, he doesn't eat properly, but um, I went into prayer and I asked Tata and Zambi to um, heal him. I've been speaking to my brother uh, who lives in um, South America, Guyana, for quite a few months now, for almost for almost six months, um, teaching them about repentance in the church and and Christianity, um, the deceit, and everything else. So he's at an understanding, and he knows that both uh, Yah and our Messiah is black. But I explained to him about um, also the Bantu culture um, and who we are as uh, Tata and Zambi's uh, chosen. Anyway. Um, that following week, I spoke to his son, my uncle, to find out how he was doing. And hallelujah, he's also taking, he was also taking medical prescriptions. But I believe in the power of prayer, uh, even over the prescriptions that he had to take. Um, but yeah, I found out that he went back to work the very next day that uh, I spoke with him. And he works as a doctor. Um, uh, preparing bodies, autopsies, etc. And with the COVID crises in the land, 
Um, he does not get a break. He works Monday to Sunday whenever uh, he needs to go to. And they even put a second shift on to accommodate. Anyway, so that's my testimony. I believe Tata and Zambi, hallelujah, um, strengthened him. And yeah, when I spoke to him the other day, he was like perfectly well and fine. And we just praised the Most High. Anyway, um, during the, this is my second testimony, during or before, before the, uh, the prayer tabernacle started, it was 10 minutes um, prior to that, my Wi-Fi kicked out and I had to go trip the breaker and came back and was just praying that it would work and it did and went through the prayer session, which was absolutely amazing and very, I felt so empowered um, that after I just went into prayer mode, um, from my brothers and sisters in the diaspora in the motherland in, in the U.S. and our brother who was coming under heavily attack um, that we know through your prayer and through in one accord he will be he will be healed and delivered from the demonic attack hallelujah um, but after I did that I went to do something else on my computer or my phone and again the circuit tripped and I'm thinking like, what's happening here? I mean, I have a heater that I use in my um, extension room and the only thing that's plugged into that in the power bar is uh, the Wi-Fi. So why is this tripping all the time? So I thought, well, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna shut it down for the night and, um, and leave it be, because um, I really didn't need it. So anyway, but the Mwanda and Semi was telling me to unplug the cord from its power source, which is the power bar. And um, my thought was just, okay, I'll take another extension and plug it into another circuit, like halfway across the room. Um, Cause I can't figure out why it was always tripping. So anyway, I did that and I just could not thank the most high enough because what happened was the um, extension plug was burnt and the other power source that it was plugged into is another three prong power source and it was completely melted that it turned black at the um the uh, power source and on the power bar that's why it was tripping and i i just thought hallelujah this um to me was an indication that if I would have shut it down for the night and left the house today, which I was planning on doing anyway, I would have put back on the power bar, um, tripped it back up, put on the heater, went out of the house to do what I need to do, come back and probably drive into a house that was demolished because I also have another heating source, which is propane. And I have two neighbors beside me, which also has propane. So yeah, it, it was a saving grace. Um, and that is my other testimony um, of how the power of the Most High through the Mwandan Semi woke me up um, to see that this was the real reason I needed to do this. So hallelujah, hallelujah. Now my third testimony, you think it quits, right? But nope, Tata is so good. Um, after I, I'd done all this, um, I, I did leave the power source off. And, but I spoke with my, um, my brother, the one I was talking to about, uh, with his ex who has five children and uh, is, I don't know if she's married or living together. I don't know, didn't ask. Um, but we started to speak because she was concerned about the COVID, thinking it was going to end. And I just said, no, 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 this is, this is just a prelude of things to come because then I started giving her biblical, uh, prophecies. But I also told her about, um, the video that, that you said, um, about when we die, we go to the spirit world. And I talked to her about the repentance and the resurrection and the things that she needs to be teaching her own family, um, how she should pray to the Most High, um, 
you know, and we talked about Christianity being, you know, a deceiving a religion, um, et cetera, et cetera. We spoke for over an hour and an hour and a half, actually. We said our good nights, and then uh, one of her children dialed me back. Okay, picked up the phone and just dialed me back, and I imagine, and I had an opportunity to speak with um, Shondell, that's her name again, and um, so she said, "I'll call you tomorrow," and I believe from what I'm feeling in my spirit is that she wants to find out more about how to walk this out because her concern again was the church and this church is being shut down and we both agreed that the church begins at how at home but it's in your heart the kingdom this is where the kingdom is we spoke about the heavenly kingdom um, so yeah it was just powerful powerful and um, so yeah I, I I, I took what you uh, taught us to do um, in this video, how we should speak about repentance and about the resurrection. Um, so I, I just, I am moving forward with this and um, it's a better walk than what I used to walk it out um, with my family, trying to, you know, convince them about, you know, the, the, the whole Bantu spirituality and everything else, which they're still in Christianity and they're not going to come out of. But hallelujah again, Tata and Zambi always makes a way to save his people. So that is my prayer for Tata and Zambi to keep saving his people, increase his inheritance, um, lift them up and carry them forever. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And um, yeah, just looking forward to to more testimonies as I grow in this truth. And Yaya, Kimfumu, Pia, Huyisa, Hallelujah. All Kembo, Tata and Zambi, Yamazulu, Ya Impungu, Tulindu. Hallelujah. In Geta. Tata Zambi, ere I come with my petition before you. You see everything and you know everything. Tata Zambi, ere I come. Kimbo, Kimbo. Tata Zambi, Yamasulu. Oh, glory to you, Father. Glory to you, Tata. See me, my dear brother, Mikhail Masa. I have a testimony. And I thank Tata Sambi, brother. I thank him for all that you are doing to help our people. I thank him that he bring me to your path to learn all the things I'm learning because I knew nothing. I thank him to open my eyes, brother, and met you. I thank him how you are helping our, how you are helping our people. With the help of Tata Sami and the Mwanda Sami, how you are, you are, how you say that, our sick brother and sister, how you are helping them. And me also, I have a testimony on that. The video you made, brother, from vaccine, the only ref, reviews, life healing on YouTube. A couple of days ago, I get a message from one of my sister. She had a baby from seven months old. The baby was normal at home with my mother and my aunt. Then some, something came over the baby and he started to dying, getting Caesar. My mother and my aunt, they were so, they were so scared. They bring the baby to the hospital. When they get to the hospital, the baby get more than 10 Caesar attack. He was dying in the hospital. I did not know what to do. I knew what to do because I started to pray. But at that time when I was hearing everything, I did not know what to do. I started to cry. I started to cry. I started to pray. That, that whole night, I pray, I pray, I pray. And I was talking to my sister. The next day, the next day, I had, I sent Brother Micha, I sent Brother Micha El Massa a message to pray for my nephew. I sent a picture for my nephew to Brother Micha El Massa and asked him to pray for him. He told me to go read Psalm 25. I read it and I pray and I pray the whole night. But the day after, I saw Brother Micha El Massa. Put the, film, put the short movie about the vaccine. And I started to watch the movie and I started to watch the movie and I go to my uh, my room and I get two butter of water. I put the salt in the water. I put the uh, olive oil in the water. I call my sister. She was already in the hospital with my nephew. And I say to my sister, I send the movie from Brother Michael Massa to my sister. I say to her, Open them, open the video and watch it. Put the telephone in front of my nephew. I also 
put the picture of my nephew in front of my computer, in front of my laptop. And when the brother was praying, because she was in the hospital, she could not do with the water yet. But later on, I will tell you. But when the brother was praying, I was praying also. And I put the picture of my nephew in the screen. And the brother was praying, and I was praying, my sister was praying. And the brother, the brother was praying to for my nephew because my sister had the scream in front of my nephew, brother and sister. The nurse and the people there think my, my nephew won't make it. But because I, because brother Mikhail Masa was praying everything, and my sister was praying, I was praying, and everybody was praying, everything what brother Mikhail Masa was, was saying, touch your shoulder, touch every, everywhere where the pain was. My sister was doing that to my nephew. I'm telling you, brother and sister. The next day, the nurse came to my sister and they tell my sister to they, they can take my nephew home because my nephew don't, don't have nothing. He's healed. He can go home. My sister came home with my nephew. She gave her the water, the purified water to drink. My nephew won't, my nephew, before that, my nephew won't, won't eat nothing. He won't drink nothing. But when my sister gave my nephew the purified water to drink, and to, to drink, my nephew was jumping, my nephew was vague, my nephew was, how you say that? You know, you know when, a baby, when a baby is sick, and when the baby get better, then he, he's like, he like have a lot of energy. I was on a video call with my sister, I was seeing everything, how my nephew were. Brother and sister, I'm telling you, the thing Brother Michael Massa is doing is powerful. Every one of us who have family who are sick, watch this movie, please. Let them pray for you on the water and give the people who are sick because they are getting better. I was not happy a couple of days, a couple of days ago, because it's not nice when your loved one is sick. But what the brother is doing is powerful. What the Mwanda Sami is doing is powerful. What the Tasambi is doing is powerful. And I'm thankful for you, brother. I thankful for your life. I thankful for your for your wife. I thankful for you for your family. I thankful that the Tasambi open my open my eyes to see and to learn because what you are doing is powerful brother and i thank for for you what you are doing brother because my nephew is better i tell my sister to get a couple of liter of water and to put and to let you pray on them and to put them in her house then when of one of my nephew of my niece are sick let her give them that water and she did brother the only the only thing my nephew wanted to drink is that water she washed my nephew's face with the water. She washed her head with the water. She washed her body with the salt water. She do all of that, what you say she has to do. It's powerful, brother. And the tabernacle also was powerful. I was starting to, we were starting to pray and to pray. I just feel like something light was over me. I'm grateful. I'm grateful that the Tassambi bring me to you to learn the thing I'm learning now. I thank the Tassambi for what he is doing for all people. We need each other. We need to pray for one another in everything. In the mighty name of Tata Zambi and Pungu Tulinda. I thank you, my brother. See Amy and Matondo. Father, you are so great. Thank you for everything that you are doing for us. And I know that everything will go fine. Because you are Tata Zambi and Mazuri. And you know everything that has happened.